It's not the car that I need Just a chance to be with him I know that once these days roll past us They will never come again So little time And we spend way too much apart There would always be a part of us Together in that car Hey guys, I was just, I was sitting there enthralled in that video as well, but I love that song and I'm so excited. Those of you who know me and have texted me today and have had to listen to me today say, I'm so nervous. I don't, I, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. Let, I'm so honored to introduce Mr. Jeff Carson. How are you? Hey, doing fine. Doing good. Thank you for having me on. It's good to talk to you. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm honored. Like I'm still a little nervous and, and we talked for a couple of minutes beforehand, but it, um, I'm so excited to have you here because thank you. It's my pleasure. It's my I pleasure. talked with, I love, I love the fact that I love the fact that you're back. And, and I say that because we've missed you. We've missed oh. that voice those songs. I said the same thing to Andy Griggs the other night. Cause I kind of put like for me, Andy Griggs, Mark Wills, Jeff Carson, you, you know, that's that whole nineties era that became sort of a soundtrack of my life that when I, and then when I go back doing research for this interview, because I think, Oh, I'll wing it. I, I'm, I don't need to, but then I'm like, no, I have to, because I want to hear it all again. And then I listen to it all again, and it brings back so many memories. So welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, thanks. It's good to get my my feet back in the water. You know, like uh, I think when I got out of music business, I I honestly don't think I even picked up a guitar maybe three times in the first eight or nine years. It just hanging on the wall. I I don't know, just came disenchanted with it. I guess. Um, but after that wore off and it kind of it's fresh and new again, I started picking up my guitar more and just kind of like last week set up by the fire, uh, like like we used to do, you know, and just and just play old play old songs and, and it just it fell off fresh again. Yeah, and I mean, and yet, okay. So while it sounds fresh, it also is like it's like going back home, if that makes sense, because it's it. I know for me as a, as a fan and as a music lover, for me, it's like, Oh my gosh, there's that voice again. Oh. I miss that. And, um, and well, it looks like you mentioned Andy Griggs because the, what kind of really got me back into maybe doing more things is um, uh, Daryl Singletary. I traveled with he and Red Aikens, and Chad yeah. brought for a number of years and um uh, and we did something at the uh, I, I uh, they were doing a remembrance of him at the uh, palace here in Nashville yeah and uh I actually just called and said hey can I be a part of that can I come sing a song and and Andy Griggs was there and of course Red and and just there's uh, what a great turnout and that's kind of what man yeah I missed this yeah. And we did a, we were at a benefit for John Barry and uh, Music Health Alliance last year. And, and uh, I mean, Andy wasn't there. Mark Wills was there as oh, I was going like uh, Clint Black and Vince Gill. And I'm like, I'm living, you know, all, I'm checking off bucket lists, you know, <laughs> kind of like I did tonight. I, I checked off another bucket list thing because, because it is really cool to, to get to talk with you all, you know, one, if, if I was at a meet and greet, I'd, I'd tell you the same thing, how much your music meant to me. And I love you. I love you. I love you. But I love the, that I have the opportunity and the platform to be able to bring what I fell in love with in that music and in that voice to everyone else. And the response has the response to your comeback has been crazy. You did a virtual concert last week with Tim Atwood. Right. And I told you, I looked today, 140,000 views. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I know. It. I, uh, I honestly don't think I've had that kind of uh, exposure since 96, probably award show. I mean, it's been, <laughs> I, I've never, 
I, I'm still blown away that many people watched that. Yeah, I mean, it was. I, and we we have we were live streaming it along with Six One Five Hideaway and and several others. And you know, when I was asked, I was like, "Are you kidding me? Of course, <laughs> just sign me up. I don't care where we have to." But then you know, we I sat and watched it too, and it, it and it's been so great going back over these songs. I will confess this though. What's that? Real life. Mm -hmm. I never listened to that whole song until yesterday. Really? I could I could never get past the dog. I know. <laughs> you know I, what, the dog that, in the that chorus. Was, that was one of those songs. You know, the car was uh, the father passed away in that, and uh, so I was looking for the songs for that last album I had out, and uh, um, Neil Thrasher and Jim Janoski wrote it, and uh, I was listening to it. Okay, the dog passed away in the first verse, and like, but when it got to that third verse, and uh, it's so beautifully written. The, the way it's written it makes you think that the lady's passing away. She's going to die, and she doesn't. And, and 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 at that point where I'm thinking, oh, I can't do another song about someone dying. I just can't. But when it turned around and she had a baby and it was all good, and it's like, oh, I, I love I got to cut this. Yeah, I got mad at you yesterday because I got to that third verse. And I was <laughs> like, her last breath, Jeff, what are you? Oh, okay. Then I watched yeah, that, the video, and, and I, I thought. When that, and I remember when that song when that song came out. That was a that was a talk of a lot of radio stations. Uh, the callers were calling in. Well, did she die or not? Because, but it's a, it, it, it says, and then you closed your eyes and took one last breath, and when it was over, you looked up. And I yes. laid our baby across your breast. So yes. that's, that's nice. She didn't die. She didn't die. Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, don't take the girl. We don't know yeah. what happened. Yeah, that one you didn't know. Yeah. I want to know what happened. Even in the video, it doesn't give it away. Your video for real life makes me even matter because now I'm like, well, okay, now it's you that's gone. Jeff, I can't take <laughs> anymore. <laughs> hey, that, that, was, that was my wife, Kim, that started with me in that too. I figured it was, um, and I know you recently put up a photo of the little girl that you'd run into her again. How cool was that? Yeah. Oh, it was so nice. And as a matter of fact, uh, she just, what a sweetie. I can't believe they're growing up that much. Now that they have kids of their own, like her age, oh my God, I'm so old. Oh. No, 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 you're not old. And, and actually, believe it or not, about a week and a half ago, I found the house where, um, not the old house, there were in, this, in the video of the car, it starts off with I'm polishing a car out with my son in a cul-de-sac outside a house. And the, yeah. and, the, uh, and my wife and her mom says, they sure spent a lot of time in that car. I found that house that we did that. Because even though it's right in Franklin and I worked in Franklin, I didn't know that house. It, it's all blur. I don't remember where I was or it's like, that's well, the house. Okay, so speaking of the car, and, and we briefly touched on on this, um, that there are these things called reaction videos that people do on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTubers that do reaction videos to songs there's, to get a reaction. They, the audiences want to see their reaction to songs, and they'll send okay. them songs. So uh, I found one that was done, I think, I, if I remember right, it was eight, oh, it was eight months ago. And it was done by a guy that goes by the screen name, Billy, you so crazy. And I'll make sure I put that up. But apparently he also has a hashtag of B-Y-S-E, which is stands for Billy, you so emotional. Apparently he's very emotional, but he, re, he did a reaction to the car. And I'd like to share a little bit of that with you if you'd like to Please see do. it. Okay, Please do. let's get that up here one second and I will be able to share this screen. That takes a little longer to have to share the screen. <laughs> uh, share, share audio. I'm just trying to learn some of all this, this new technology, but I'm still loving it. Okay. So we have Billy here. I'm, I've gone, I'll, I'll skip a little bit That's into here. You spend a lot of time working on that car, don't they? Then you go around and around the whole hood. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go. B-Y-S-E. 
For those that don't know, that's Billy, you so emotional. All right, now, today is just the day. Today is the day. <laughs> All right. Boy, I love to have that car. I will pretend I'm dead. You can get a report of car like that. I've always heard the Mustang flies. Yeah, oh, man. You could fix it up and make it new again. Oh, no. All it needs. It's just a little time. Dad is calling me every home since Mama passed away. Oh man! Oh dang! This is not the direction I thought this song was going in. Oh. He's always working overtime. That he cannot afford to buy that car, even though he'd love to make it mine. It's not the car that I need, oh, just a chance to be with you. Oh, my goodness, y'all about to. Oh, this, this song, the message is so important. The message is so important. He just, he just wants to bond with his dad, man. And oh, this song and it's probably it's probably affecting me a lot more because it's uh, personal, personal, personal. When they say when the shoe fits, you can tell, you know. And, and it's, it's fitting real snug on my foot right now. Uh, he just he just wants to spend time with his dad. He know, he said he knows that his dad can't afford it, but he just he wants to be able to bond with his dad. And he 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 lost his dad ever since his mom passed away. And that is did you stop it oh yeah i stopped it i wanted to uh I'm, i'll send it to you i'm gonna send it to you but Please do. I, can't uh, that. I i mean i can sit here and watch the whole thing but it, it he kind of says I, I have watched it but he's saying whatever what that song does mean and and i think it's so great that i mean eight months ago you weren't even technically officially back then no. and your, your song was reaching somebody. So how's that been? Because it, your song is, even though you're not out there performing them the way that we were used to you and now we get to have you again do, what's that still like when those songs touch people like that? It, uh, they still touch me too. Um, uh, you know, I could get real emotional too. I've, uh, my dad passed away a year ago and, uh, yeah, it's get cuts. Yeah, I can imagine that one does. Um, one thing you are doing for that song, um, and in case you all haven't seen it on our Facebook pages or on YouTube, you're doing something special for Father's Day with that one. Yeah, we've asked everyone to uh, send in pictures of themselves with their dads, uh, with their cars. If, you know, if they got pictures of them working on it, um, uh, the the email address if you got a picture like that please send it to jeff carson car at gmail.com and uh we're gonna do a little uh, acoustic version of that song again and project all the pictures that people send to us behind me during it so that, that that's a real good idea can't we see how it comes out which i'm sure that will be very emotional too uh for yeah. for everybody but also also for you um so Tell us what else you have coming up because you're because you're still you are still a full time police officer, correct? Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been with the police force just south of Nashville for uh, uh, twelve years this month. So very very blessed to have a good steady full time job. You know uh, the music business. Um, Lord knows I would still be doing it if I could. Um, it just, it got to a point, I had a little one, he's, gosh, he's 17 now, or almost 17, uh, but when he was born, uh, it was just too much up in the air, I wasn't making steady money, and I said, yeah. I, 
I've got to give it up. And the only other thing that I always dreamed of doing was being a cop. And at uh, at age 44, I got hired and uh, been with them 12 years now. Okay. So if I'd have known that for one, which I, I know it's public record out there, I just didn't pay any attention to the news headlines about it. I probably would have drove. I probably would have maybe gone a little over the speed limit to get pulled <laughs> over and then ask you to sing. <laughs> so has anybody recognized you from that? And, and <laughs> has anybody recognized you from that in, in your, in, the, in doing police work? You know, I was, I was hired, mate. I was, I was new. I'd just been turned loose on my own and I was writing the guy's speed ticket. And, uh, <laughs> And and I, I ran his name and and uh, wrote him wrote him a ticket. And as I walked back to his car, he said, "You're Jeff Carson, aren't you?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Yeah, it, uh, I, I I produced uh, Tim McGraw, and uh, I thought that was you." It's it it Tony Brown. I said, "Man, why did you tell me that before I wrote it? Because once you write the ticket, it's once over. you write it, it's over." But, but, uh, but I had no that that was man like. Tony Brown knew who I was. That was awesome. See, and that it's 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 really cool that for you. He having, probably hates me now, but oh uh, well, maybe because you're sharing that story that you wrote him a ticket. Maybe I've never told anyone that. <laughs> well, there we go. An exclusive. Tony Brown got a speeding ticket <laughs> written by Jeff Carson. <laughs> would you would you um, would you honor us and sing us a song? I'd be glad to. I got a good guitar right here. Hey, hey, that works out great. <laughs> what do you want here? Uh, you know, if it was up to, I mean, let, let's do. We just heard the car, so you pick. You pick. What's your next well, favorite to do? Let's do not on your love then. I, all I'll right. Say, I'll, do, I'll do all my hits. Both. Okay. <laughs> well, you had a lot of them. We're gonna be here a while, guys. <laughs> all right, Jeff, take it all away. Right, this, this, this was released back in 1995. as my second single. We both said some things we don't really mean. Sometimes love can be like that. Right now they hurt, but they're only words. There's nothing we can't take back But every time we don't see eye to eye You worry I might say goodbye Not on your love, not in this life Did I ever leave, I wouldn't think twice Letting you go, by now you should know I need you too much not on your love, no way in this world could I ever live without you, girl. When times get tough, I'm not giving up, not on your love. When we started out, we made a vow not to sleep till we've settled the fight. There have been times we've seen the sun rise, but it always worked out all right. Even in the darkest hour before dawn, I never thought of moving on. Not on your love, not in this life. Could I ever leave? I wouldn't think twice of letting you go. By now you should know I need you too much. Not on your love, no way in this world. Could I ever live without you, girl? When times get tough, I'm not giving up. Not on your love. When times get tough, I'm not giving up. Not on your love.
A Blast from the Past, 1995. It was amazing. Look, I've got my Kleenexes. <laughs> if I had a lighter, it would be it would be up to. Oh yeah, my gosh. Lighters, you might be on fire. <laughs> That's true. Right, and hand sanitizer. Yeah, I need to not have a lighter around. <laughs> Somebody said hi to you in here that says you are their old boss. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's up on the screen. It's up on the screen. Matt Golston. It's up on the screen right now. Yeah, Matt played. He was with the Honky Tonk Tailgate Tour when we, uh, when he and Rhett and Daryl and I, we all traveled around together. Good to see you, Matt. <laughs> it has been so great hanging out with you and you did a song the other day on YouTube and it was called I was the Tim Menzies song oh yeah I did that Probably. January okay. you did you said the date and then but you didn't post it till March the 20th really now I will say and I said it in that post I think that when I go to do research on an artist sometimes you know, sometimes I, it's things that I already know. And sometimes God surprises me. And I think God surprised me that day with that song because he knew I really needed that one. And and I messaged you in it and, and tagged you in it and said, thank you. I needed this today. So I just want to know when you're going to cut that one. So <laughs> I know it. I, I know I love that song. Um Tim Menzies, I've always loved his stuff. Uh, matter of fact, my first album, I, I I recorded one song that he had written. I, I could just listen to his demos, you know. Uh, uh, I have I have no uh, forethought of recording it, but I sure would like to. I mean, that's a wonderful song. It really is. And you all make sure, I know those are, that are watching and that will watch later, go follow him on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to YouTube, and... Uh, yeah, I've, I've got it. it. You know, we just put this um, my new official Facebook. You know, I've got a personal one, but I've and and uh, I've put this official one together, and we're trying to get it to the five thousand subscribers to get this little check mark. You know, uh, so so please, if you could uh, like that page and follow it, and tell your friends and family. I'm sure yeah, and if it if it doesn't have the blue check mark, y'all, it is not him. If it does not well, have. I, yeah, mine doesn't have a check mark yet. Yeah, I think you oh, have to have 5,000 people to get it. It'll be there soon. I mean, you went from like 800 earlier last yeah, night to 12, yeah, 1,200. I mean, yeah, it's going. I think I think people are, are one, they're finding out that you're, that you're back. And, and I'm, like I said, I'm so happy about it. And I could sit here and talk to you forever, but I think that we're going to have to get together with the Atwoods and the Carsons, and we're all just going to have to sit down and and talk some more because I, be I would love it. That'd be awesome. I would love that. Um, you all make sure you go check out, uh, like I said, follow him on on Instagram, like him on Facebook, um, and it does say official Jeff Carson, and pretty soon it's going to have the little blue check mark. Um, go to YouTube and subscribe. There is a, um, you'll see a, lot, a couple of black and white videos one he just oh you just did I go crazy by Paul yeah. Davis. Oh my me. gosh! And that song always makes me tear up. I don't know why. <laughs> you but sissy. I I am. <laughs> it's your fault. It's yours, Andy Griggs. It's all you know what it, it's all this. It's all those. Look, I'm I'm losing my earphone here. It's all those great songs, and then it's the great voices that tell us the story and deliver that to us. So. I blame all of you all. I well, still you know, love it. You know, I, I, I hate to be ballad heavy, but I love singing a good, meaningful ballad. And, you know, I, I do some fast stuff in my shows, but uh, I love a good ballad, man. People probably listen to me and think, God, have you ever seen anything <laughs> ballad? <laughs> hey, before I let you go, because I promise somebody made a comment on the video uh, promo asking about a Merle Haggard song that you cut. And her question was, how did that come around? Because that was on the Butterfly Kisses album. I started today. I started loving you again. Yeah. When I first uh, heard it, it was I thought Merle was singing it. Honestly, <laughs> I was well, like, well, it was it was both of us. It was a, it was. A oh, yeah, okay. I, he sang, I see. Uh, I, he sang the first verse, and I sang the second, and then we kind of passed it back and forth. Okay, because I was like, um, that really sounds like Merle. <laughs> 
hey, look, I can't do this if I if I can't if it doesn't sound like it. Uh, but um, yeah, she was just what she was curious about that song. So I, I promised that I would mention it. So I'm glad we yeah. did. Now I learned what something. A, what an honor that was, man. Man, what an honor. So when you were talking to Michael Ray the other day, at, see, I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to wrap it up after this. I promise. <laughs> Um, when you did an interview with Michael Ray the other day, he was giving you a ton of props for being somebody that he looked up to and that whole, okay, that whole era. So, but same thing with like Tracy Lawrence, when he redid a lot of his songs and had Justin Moore come in and Tyler Farr and redo some of his songs. I think we need to have a Jeff Carson brings in some of the ones that admire him, have Michael Ray cover one. And what that would be so idea. cool. What a great idea that would be, man. I'd be honored, man. I don't think they'd walk across the street for me, but we'll see. <laughs> I think you underestimate yourself, and I love you so much for that. I love you so much for that because it just goes to prove what what a down to earth, genuine human being you are, and and I love that about I love that about country music, and so I'm a fan. I'm still a fan. Um, again, it's been an honor. I I'm still. I'll pinch myself after this and I'll be like, Oh my God. But oh, we will. I thank you for having me on and uh, any, any time I love to do it. Okay. Well, I'm giving you a virtual hug or the, what is it? The COVID elbow. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to give you a big hug when we can though. I, I will okay. definitely do that. You all take care make sure to check him out. And Jeff, thanks so much. Have a great night. Thank you. Appreciate you having me night.